Corey, what's the biggest mistake people would make on a horse that wants to rush through the turn? Oh, I think people sometimes they just they uh, people just try to like they try to manhandle them to make them, but he you know wait and then they get to like holding them when they're trying to turn. And I think the biggest thing is is just you need to just try to keep things slowed right down to where you can just hold them with your feet and just let them just back and then not get to rush into that spot even if they're a bit late to where they. Look, I always, um, yeah, I like to try to keep them up in the cow, so um, just uh, find the full 180, just takes that ma massive big move out of it, makes it a bit easier for them to get through, and it sort of seems to make them a bit quicker. Out of the turn, I will, I will ride them up sometimes, you know, if, if they do want to get away too much, but um, I generally try to just to get them to, when they hit that stop, that they'll just stay in there angled up into that cow when they hit that stop. And they... I think sometimes when people go around all the time, they, they make the mistake of just stepping away from the cow all the time and then just keep rolling around with that cow where I'll, um, especially if the cows will let me, I'll try to go right to the fence and block them and work them along. That's why we've probably got a, we've got a square pen here. I do work a lot in a snaffle, like obviously the maturity ones, I'll go backwards and forth in bridles a bit more, you know, to get them used, comfortable in it. and make sure they are but then once you know once they've sort of trained I do